Good morning, Crypto here. I hope we're all having a wonderful day. Please remember, I'm not a financial advisor and none of this is financial advice and none of the information provided in this video should ever be taken as a signal to buy or to sell. If you find any information in this video of benefit, please, why not join my subscription, which is only $3 a month and it'll be supporting the channel and you get a badge for that, <laughs> but you'd be helping me out hugely. So if you wanted to support the channel, please do so. That would be very much appreciated. But first and foremost, we look at the crypto bubbles. And as you can see, we've dropped four ranks to 81 with a market cap of $1.4 billion. And we're currently sitting at $118 with a 24 hour volume at $22 million, down 0.6% in the hour, down 4.1% in the day, and down 3.1% in the week. But as you know, I'm not here for the short term. So these short term figures where we're down or we're up really doesn't affect me in the slightest. But we move over to Arkham Intelligence. And as you can see, there's a bit of activity here at Binance five hours ago, moving 1.3 thousand into Wintermute. And we can see here Bitcoin Swiss deposit of 566 thousand moving um, from a private wallet onto the exchange. Now, I say the exchange is in the deposit wallet at the moment. I am keeping an eye on it. And as we noted that it's moved up to fourth place in the quant holders ranking, which is absolutely huge. What is going on? There was some speculation flowing around that this sort of transaction took place similar when the Bank of England partnership was announced. And the connection is this transaction took place not long after Agora project was announced. Now, I saw this tweet from Draw of Lines Quant. And I thought this was really, really good because it talks a lot about the QRC20. And if you don't know about it, I'm going to run through this with you. So Quant is about to give ETH a run for its money. QRC20 will give or take over the ERC20 token utility a massive run for its money. The first token to be used on the QRC20 will be Leox. Sire was the first to create a proof of concept utilizing its overledger capabilities and allow 570 banks to seamlessly to be interconnected. Galileo and Leox will be the first to display the QRC20 ability with this project. And a summary pretty much is here below. But we're going to go through that in a moment. So QRC20, why is it different? Key points, ERC20 tokens are designed for deployment on the Ethereum network only. QRC20 is a blockchain agnostic and will work with everything on any multiple platforms. We'll discuss that in a moment. So the QRC20721 standardization is comparable to ETH native ERC20, but comes with two primary advantages, token security and interoperability. The smart contract is the underlying rule set that creates and manages the token. Tokenization empowers users to create and deploy multi-chain QRC20 and QRC721 standard tokens and smart contracts. QRC20721 standardization is comparable to the Ethereum native ERC20 but comes with two primary advantages. We've got token security and interoperability. To further support the rapid growth of Galileo ecosystem, over the past months, Galileo has established several working relationships with Quant, Link, and LCX. And we can see that in this detail report here. Quant Network's much anticipated QRC20 token standard launches. Quant partner LCX, the token sale of the world's first QRC20, and Galileo Protocol's Leox private sale debuts as the first ever QRC20 token. To back that up, we also see this from the CEO at Galileo Protocol and what he has to say about the interoperability of the QRC token. So let's have a listen to this. QRC20 token will be available on different blockchain at this time. We can consider the Ethereum blockchain, the XDC blockchain and the Layer 2 Polygonmatic uh, blockchain. It means first we are going to deploy these tokens on Ethereum and the users will be able to move these tokens from one blockchain to another. So what's really important there is being able to deploy their tokens on other blockchains because of the security and the interoperability, but still sit as an ERC20 token, which is really, really important. But being able to move it 
as and when they want to using that interoperability factor. So we see here from the Quant website, QRC20 Secure Smart Contracts by Martin Hargreaves. So QRC20 Secure Smart Contracts have significant advantages over an ad hoc approach, including ease of deployment and interoperability. These tokens will become a key component for Overledger's blockchain-based payment system designed for corporate and institutional use, writes Martin Hargreaves, Quant's chief product officer. Writing smart contracts is often a specialist and risky endeavor. It requires blockchain developers to master niche programming language and ensure their subsequent code is resilient against attack. Poorly coded smart contracts have contributed to a massive fraud and hacking losses widespread across Ethereum. This problem continues to grow and in 2021 cryptocurrency crime amounted to a whopping $14 billion. Ethereum discourages subpar smart contracts on its network and it's best practice for these to be verified with independent third parties before deployment to mainnet. However, even when this occurs, Ethereum smart contracts have slipped through. The external verification process can also add substantial cost and development time to blockchain projects. Overledger and smart contract creation. Quant's Overledger streamlines the process of creating secure enterprise-grade smart contracts. The system leverages a user face to choose preset attributes and functionality for the smart contract. Users can then use the Red JSON API to conduct various payment operations through Overledger's API. The resulting smart contracts have been rigorously tested with Quant's team of PhDs and external experts to ensure that they are tamper-proof, resilient, and production ready. QRC20 smart contracts. Overledger's 2.1.7 release launched the smart contract capability as a QRC20 standard for commercial stablecoins and payments. The QRC20 standard is based on Ethereum's ERC20 rules for fungible tokens. QRC20 functions like Ethereum's standard counterpart with the same definition and structure for its smart tokens. QRC20 enables users to create tokens, approve them, decide how they are transferred, provide information about account balances, and set limits to the total supply. While ERC20 tokens are designed for deployment on the Ethereum network, QRC20 tokens will be blockchain agnostic and work across multiple distributed ledger technologies. They can be implemented on-chain public DLTs or off-chain private DLTs to enable complex operations between DLT technologies such as cross-chain atomic swaps and multi-ledger tokens Overledger DLT Gateways uses an innovative and standardized REST API based on the internet architecture and protocols to connect different DLTs and blockchains. Similarly, instead of using cryptocurrency ETH as a gas to conduct transactions or execute contracts, Overledger transactions are powered by Quant Utility Token with seamless fiat payment options available for corporate customers. It's important to note that Overledger is a DLT gateway and doesn't store data or information. Instead, it works as an abstraction platform that orchestrates interactions between various ledgers. All the data is encrypted at the source and cannot be accessed or manipulated. In this way, Overledger helps facilitate a highly secure decentralized blockchain system catered for the security needs of corporate clients. Now that's really, really important because lower gas fees and the security that comes with running Overledger. Overledger's blockchain payment system, the first version, tier one, on Overledger enables users to create smart tokens that can perform basic payment capabilities such as making a credit or debit transfer or pre-approved debit transfer. These smart contracts can be deployed on the Ethereum Ropsten testnet. The functionality allows straightforward person-to-person -person transactions. For example, as the core of the virtual currency for a reward platform, game, or virtual marketplace. Tier 2 will add the ability to mint and burn smart tokens that function as programmable money. Users will also be able to add a secondary account owners, for example, a joint and business account, and carry out batch payments. Those use case allows for fintechs and projects to create an open stable coins and control the supply to target individuals, groups, and companies as their user base. Tier 3 will customize Overledger for use by financial institutions like retail banks, contract owner banks will have an account override feature that provides full control for account balances. They can also be set up by whitelisting for an account, enabling the contract owner to control who can hold smart money and interact with it as a know your customer KYC or anti-money laundering control. 
This use case built on tier two, enabling fintechs and institutions to create stable coins to facilitate regulatory compliance functions, e.g. freezing of illegal funds. Financial institutions can also set up compliant customers onboarding process by only adding customers to the whitelist once KYC AML checks are passed. Tier four would allow escrow or ear making of funds without hiding the beneficial owners of funds. It will also enable more complex approvals, for example, four eyes or six eyes payment workflows to protect high value payments. The most highly functional corporate payment and approval flows could be facilitated, such as internal accounting at a large corporate entity. Enterprises could use stable coins to carry out complex transactions where funds are held in escrow requiring four eyes approval, which is sizable purchase, acquisitions, or FX transactions. The functionality will be added to Overledger API with the ability to create payment triggers with minimal technical effort or blockchain engineering knowledge required. The initial releases of Overledger smart contracts will be on Ethereum. Quant is translating these smart contracts for other smart contract capable enterprise blockchains, including Hyperledger Fabric, R3 Corda, JPM Quorum, and other open blockchains. Now, this is absolutely huge. Now, QRC20 is about to hopefully change the game. It provides that layer of security for those institutions, those bigger clients. That's why I think this is very, very important, especially for the future as and when this technology starts to become known. So there you go, guys. Just a quick update. I hope you like this update. All the best and I'll catch you later.